UFC 241 post fight breakdown. Um, who do we have? Romero versus Costa. Man, Romero could have made that fight way easier if he would have just wrestled. Both have gas tanks of H2 Hummer, which is obviously not good. Pretty crappy, to be honest, for their weight class. Um, but it was highly entertaining. Dudes are throwing bombs, chunking them things. But uh, Romero should have got the W. I thought he won, clearly won two out of the three rounds. Um, Anaheim's uh, crowd agreed with me as well. So Romero should have got the nod, but Costa's going to move on to better things. He's limited. His his takedown defense isn't as good as it needs to be to be a champion. But he's a powerhouse. He made uh, Romero look small. But I thought Romero won two out of three. But it is it is what it is. Um, Pettis versus Diaz. Diaz did exactly as I thought he would do. But he, I give him credit. He was more defensively responsible. So Pettis... Uh, was trying to line him up, got a few good body shots, but uh, Diaz would do that old school, you know, you kick and then punch, while they look at the feet, you hit him with the punch, so he would close the distance, Nate that is, would close the distance with the front kick, and land his shots and smother uh, Pettis' clean work, look it, Pettis is a good fighter, Wonder, Wonder Boy is a good fighter, but those guys, especially Pettis, need space. If you take away their space, you can beat them. Pettis, you smother them to death, like Ferguson with the work rate, like I suggested or I mentioned. You overwhelm them and he'll fold. Nate, folding them. Folding them. Pressure. Getting the clinch on the, on the cage. Knees, knees. Just rabbit punching, just constantly pressuring, touching them, slapping them. Give or take, Pettis landed a few. Nate, but Nate was defensively responsible. I mean, he always gets a busted eye. He has a lot of scar tissue. But Nate looked good. Like uh, Dominic Cruz suggested, there's no such thing as ring rust. And Nate looked fresh he looked sharp even though at the end of the fight he said he gasped because he was trying to push the pace he's used to a five round fight versus three so it went how i suggested not nah, why do i keep saying that it went as i thought it would but nate looked better than i expected so props to nate pettis you're just you're, you're you need to learn how to fight dirty but i don't think you don't like to fight ugly fights. You don't like dog fights. You do, but you need space. So I'd like to see Nate again. We got to get that Connor trilogy. Um, the right man won a great victory for him. I give him props. Uh, the, <clears throat> the main event, Cormier versus uh, Miochik, Stipe. Uh, second fight, DC was winning the fight. Short little bursts, combinations, grabbing the hands, just quicker and landing the harder shots. You could see it in Stipe's face. Stipe was getting busted up. So Stipe could have made this an easier fight. When he made that fourth round adjustment to go to the body, immediately the air deflated out of DC's tires. Went bop, bop. Left like shovel hook to the bread basket. And then Stipe went up top, one, two, bah. And Cormier was like, I am done. And then Stipe laid it on him. I was like, damn, if Stipe would have went to the body sooner, to the soft body of Cormier, he would have, he could have beat him easily. But he uh, declined to do so. To Stipe's credit though, geez, that guy has a beard. I apologize, he got caught, can happen to anyone. But uh, he came in 12 pounds lighter, had a 13-month layoff, and it showed that he was hungry. And he beat a, D a game DC. So, Stipe's a, f a stud, man. 
DC's a stud. All these guys fighting at this professional high level, they're all studs. I'm giving them credit. We make comments, we say things, but these guys are animals while we go to work and take care of our kids and do repetitive, apathetic crap. These guys are, I'm giving them props. These guys are legendary status, man. They make making their mark in history. So I like uh, the card of the UFC uh, 241. It was tight. So, man, click those thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been a long week, but I enjoyed this. was a nice little taper off for the for the end of the work week. Um, that's all for now, man.